Dear Sherry, I have just started growing cannabis. Yay, that's good. Good yes. for you. Well um, Kudos. <laughs> I want some advice on how to know when to harvest and specifically how to tell if you let your marijuana plant grow for too long, as, as I suspect I might have. Okay. Okay, well, that's a good question. Thank mm -hmm. you for asking it. I'm joined today by Mitch Mandel, Cannabis Sherry's grow mm -hmm. editor. He has lots more grow experience than I do, so I like to have him along on these grow questions. Uh, before we get to the answer, I just want to remind everybody to hit that YouTube subscribe button and notification bell because we try to upload new videos every Wednesday. And also hit that like button too if you get value out of these videos because it helps us be seen in YouTube's algorithms. Okay. okay. Oh, and if you like Mitch's a smoking rooster shirt or my warning may contain weed shirt, those are available on my website along with lots of other fun cannabis designs. I'll put a link in the comments below. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's get back to the question. Yes. <laughs> okay, how can they tell if they've let their marijuana plant grow for too long? And well, that's kind of subjective for one thing. A well, no, bit. no, actually it's very quantifiable. You can really tell if you've let your marijuana plant grow for too long, uh, at least in the flowering stage. Okay, you, you, yeah, you, yeah, you yeah. You can let your marijuana plant grow too long in a, in a vegetative state and you're not going to get any flowers. So... And that's what like a mother is, a mother plant, right. which is used for taking clippings. But if you, you can let your plant grow forever in a flower stage, which is more than 12 hours of sunlight a day. And it, I mean, in a, in a vegetative stage, which is more than 12 hours of sunlight per day. Right. But flowering. So, but once you set it into flower uh, and then your, 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 your plants are flowering, you can grow it too long and, and create marijuana that's not as good as... As you'd like it to be, if you let it get overripe, think okay. of like an overripe banana. You know, people don't want to eat an overripe banana, right? So people don't want to smoke overripe weed. But I mean, sometimes it's a matter of preference of where exactly. Well, you there harvest. Are, I guess that's what I was trying to say. Because if you monitor any of the forums online about how to grow <laughs> marijuana, and I've been through a bunch of those, the debate is endless uh. about what, what time is the, is the right time to, to actually snip your, snip your buds or, or, or harvest your plant. Right. Um, give our viewers some tips, though, okay. on what they're well, going to look for. The, okay. the, the first thing, well, you need one little piece of equipment, and then you can really tell. A jeweler's loop right. or, a, or a very, very high-power magnifying glass. Yeah. So you can look very closely at the buds and look at the trichomes. Do you want to, why don't you explain what a trichome, trichome is? Trichomes are the <laughs> resinous glands, and they cover the, the plant, and that's where the cannabinoids are contained. All the uh, medicinal magic, so to speak, right. are in the trichomes, and they change color when you're getting towards harvest time. So right. they'll go from clear to... Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so... So the when you when you start looking at the trichomes when they're small and they're they're little they're they're like little mushroom caps. Maybe like, we can cut in a picture yeah, of some okay, here. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll cut in a picture of what the trichomes look like. When the plant is immature but mm -hmm. it's still budding, the the trichomes are clear, mm -hmm. and then you know that okay this plant is growing and it's not ready yet. It's still an immature plant. As the plant ages, uh, maybe after six weeks, seven weeks or so, they start to turn a milky color. Okay. They get less clear. They're more opaque. And as it gets a little bit older and a little bit older, that the you'll see the bottoms of the of the trichome where it attaches to the plant starting to turn an amber color. Right. That's where I like to to pull the plant. They, just the, when they're just starting. Well, you have like ten percent of the trichomes are turning amber. Right. And I like to pull my plants with them when they're a little bit more immature because the more mature the plant, you tend to get a more uh, sleepy weed. Okay. So I don't like that. I like more of an up. Uh, it, uh, an up feeling from the, from the weed that, that I that so I grow. So if you do want a sleepy weed, you might want to let them go a little bit. Right. Longer. If you're looking to grow grow a plant that will help you sleep at night, mm -hmm. you want to get it. You want to get it a little bit more right. More amber. Or more amber. So eventually, the the whole trichome will turn amber, and that's overripe. Yeah, by most people's standards, right. yeah, you've overdid it. So you've that would it. be too long. But I really want to stress to people that you do need that magnification right. or the jeweler's loop. You cannot see this with the naked eye. You may think 
think you can and you may think your plant is perfectly ready by the way the plant looks and I know uh, I remember Mitch you consulting with somebody way back when yeah. who insisted her plants were ready and she just wanted them down and and she just would not listen and they were not <laughs> ready and it was crap yeah, it wasn't got. it wasn't great <laughs> but <laughs> so you definitely it's a very inexpensive tool I'll put a link below to where you can get one on Amazon a jeweler's loop or some right. kind of magnification if it has a light on it so much the better but you definitely need to examine your plants under magnification before harvest. I've also used, they make those uh, like the uh, microscope attachments that you can put on a cell phone. Right, and you can even take... Or not a microphone, a microscope <laughs> attachment. Yeah. Can, yeah, you can put on a cell phone. And if you can do it without moving around too much, uh, you can really get a good, get a good glimpse of the trichomes themselves. And you can take now, pictures too. Can you, can you can take a picture. Okay, so I'll put a link to one of those in the comments too below. All right. But you don't want to confuse the trichomes for the, from those red and white hairs that you see also. Good point. Those red and white hairs are easily identifiable with the naked eye. So that's not what you're looking at. Right. You want to look at the, at the trichomes that are on the, the sugar leaves, on the buds themselves. And those are not be, very well seen with the naked eye. You do need a magnifier to see those. Right. So great question. Great discussion. I hope this helps. And we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.